Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. How are you guys doing? So this is CRC My Streets. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. Today is the 20th of April uh, 2022. And, uh, so guys, uh, earlier on uh, today, earlier on early morning, and uh, is, I did a video about uh, Julius Malema, who is the uh, economic freedom uh, fighters and uh, uh, from South Africa is uh, you know is an opposition uh, leader. The man uh, yesterday it was a Freedom Day in South Africa. He was talking about the situation in Zimbabwe, saying that um you know uh, Zimbabweans who are living and working in South Africa and uh, you, you guys need to go back to Zimbabwe and register to vote and vote out uh is under pay out of power and uh, don't be too comfortable. And it seems like most of our brothers and sisters who are living in South Africa, how many ne sausage, ne we nyam a chicken, ne am no joy, ne am a chunk, ne am no joy, ma to too comfortable. Or that is what you get. What I got back on ne, and it got. So, uh, it seems like uh the Herald is not happy about that, but uh, that video was circulating on social media. So here's the letter, here's the uh post from the Herald from from the Herald Zimbabwe. They are saying that uh Malema's comments on Zim elections. Uh, out of order, a South African opposition figure, Julius Malema, this week came out on ENCA TV news calling for Zimbabweans to go back to Zimbabwe and vote the government out. And uh, Malema's interest in Zimbabwe elections is a result of his intimate association with uh, former ZNPF political commissar, Sevia Kasukwere, who is in self-imposed exile in South Africa. He seems to be taking instructions from Kasukwere. Why Malema behaving like this? In most cases, Malema is leaving his name in Zulu and Debele. Malema is the word for Marema in Shona. <laughs> uh, this does not mean a person suffering from mental health illness, but means a person of crazy and mad behavior who cannot order his faculties well in relating to others. Malema is wondered way offline in his speech. It is a shame that Malema rushed to comment before he understand what is happening. Malema is an opposition leader in South Africa, not in Zimbabwe or Africa for that matter. His self-styled poster as a pan-African opposition leader is as delusional as his undiplomatic and obscene interference in internal affairs of another sovereign state. Malema's actions are pervasive and totally uncalled for. He starts well by encouraging Zimbabweans to go home and vote. But his lunacy is exposed when he starts calling leaders in Zimbabwe with bad names. Balema should understand that voting issues are a complex internal and constitutional matter. Presently, those Zimbabweans in the diaspora have no right to vote from outside the, the borders, save for those on external duties. Balema must know that he, this position can only be changed by Zimbabweans, not by an over exuberant, wallowing foreign opposition leader. He is affiliated with the uh, fallacious thinking and weird uh, assumption that Zimbabweans in the diaspora in voting will vote against their government and for the opposition. Zimbabweans in the diaspora are patriotic. Being in the diaspora, one begins to appreciate his or her country. It is only when you are abroad that the environment teaches you to love your nation. These Zimbabweans are part of a big family back home. It is more logical to think that the, the voting pattern at home will find its reflection in the diaspora. The NPF have been winning elections for decades, and that is um, and that is the pattern at home. There's no reason to to summarize that the same voters will, will cross a stream into South Africa and then change political allegiance. Malema has failed to make significant inroads in his own country as an opposition leader. While the ruling African National Congress has lost seats in the recent elections, Malema's party has not gained significantly. This is because whatever the ANC has lost that has been shared between Malema's EFF and other opposition parties, the DA, Malema can sense that his party is not likely to wrestle power from the ANC in the next uh, elections. He must concentrate on upcoming with a cogent program of attacking his own countrymen as voters in South Africa. And yeah, so here out there, he's just trying to discredit uh, Malema for, for what he said on that video, which I just uh, posted earlier on uh, today. And yeah, so 
uh, it, it would be saying that uh, not all people who are in the diaspora are actually the opposition political party. Some of these guys, uh, some of these people are actually uh, suppose and appeal. And remember, which one of the diaspora, but the most common common reason why many people are, are, are leaving Zimbabwe, are going to South Africa, is because of the economic hardships. And uh, I, I mean, this is even yeah, this is evidently on social media right now. If you post, you could see, uh, you know, Triple C or MTC Alliance or ZANU-PF, most people who vote are in the diaspora, they will totally vote for Triple C. So what Malema was saying yesterday at Freedom Day speech, you know, he knows what he was saying. He knows very well that most people who are in South Africa are economic migrants. They are there to work. They are there to hustle. The reason why is because about Zimbabwe, opportunities, and of course, when they go back home, they're gonna vote for the opposition political parties because they support opposition political parties. So, um, in the morning, I don't see anything wrong with what Malema said when it comes to uh, you know, his speech yesterday when he was encouraging Zimbabweans to go back to Zimbabwe and register to vote. Remember, in South Africa, Mugutuan Zimunia, almost like 3 million or 2 million people, Radimo SA, and they are who are Zimbabweans, who can actually make a significant change from the elections that are next year. And yeah, so whatever Herald is saying here, I think they just, yeah, Herald is just Herald. And uh, I mean, come on, guys. But it's doing that, you know, <laughs> you guys just let it go. Let it go. On this one, I disagree with Herald. Definitely, Herald. Come on, guys. You can do better. Malema is right on this one. Zimbabwe needs to go and pick and vote. And again, your vote is your secret. I always vote to vote in Greece. I want to vote in Munono. I want vote in Nigeria. So, write it down in the comment section. Uh, this is uh daily news, breaking news, everyday news. They want to get the latest update regarding to what Malema said and what Herald is saying right now regarding to what Malema said. And they're saying that uh Malema Chirema he's crazy he is crazy do you think Malema is crazy over what he said yesterday do parinya is a papo got it all in the comment section this is a uh, daily news breaking news everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV remember guys to like share comment and follow subscribe let's out